Waking Your Inner Power show. I'm Donna Ferguson and I'm the host of your weekly broadcast and it's a great pleasure to be here yet again on this beautiful Friday. I'm just trying to get my Bluetooth connected here because um, I was rushing to get here by 11 today. So how are we all? And let me know where you're tuning in from. I would love to know. And I'd also love to know whether you work for someone or whether you have your own business um, because I can help you in both areas. And I will just check that everything is up and running as we always do our normal checks because we don't want anyone missing out on this. So um, I don't seem to be able to see anything going on. Not sure what's going on with my iPad. It's not saying we're live yet, but that's okay. Alrighty, so how are we all? It's so hot in Brisbane today and we have less than four weeks until Christmas. Who's ready? Carolyn, hello, welcome. Australia, Tasmania, welcome to the show, my love. Thank you for joining in and um, Tell me, what are you doing? Uh, do you have a business or do you work for yourself? Hi, Maz. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. It's a um, really great pleasure for you, for me to be here and share this information with everyone. So if there's any questions that you have around, um, look, Preparation for 2020, I think, is huge at the moment. Everybody's talking about it. And, you know, what are you doing to prepare for 2020? What have you got going on that gets you ready to really start the year without, without winding down enough to minimise your income, but you wind down enough so that you can recharge and you know that everything's going to be running smoothly while you're not on deck. So, you know, I know it's a great time for everyone to uh, really catch up with family and friends and celebrate Christmas and, you know, but it's also a time when we have to take a moment to think about those who perhaps might not be as fortunate as ourselves. And so that's really important as well. It's, uh, you know, there's so many different reasons why people don't get to enjoy Christmas. And uh, I think it's really important that we do understand that we just spare a moment of our relaxation time to do that. So... Um, so, okay, so this is not, okay, I'm just going to turn the sound down here because it is, okay, coming back in through my earpiece, so hopefully you can all hear me really well and, um, Yes, you do have your own business, but it feels it's, ah, it's not. Okay, talk to me about that, Carolyn. What is it that you're looking for? Um, what's going on that's happening? Hi, Rachel, welcome. And Donna, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining me today. So tell me about that, um, Carolyn. You have your own business, but it feels like it's not for you. Talk to me about that. What are you doing? And... Um, why does it feel like it's not for you? Is this something that you're doing? Was it something that sort of came your way that you took on? Or are you looking at um, you've been in it for long enough and you just, it's time to change? Because there's many different reasons why we get these feelings and emotions come up around, you know, why we don't feel like we want to be doing what we're doing anymore. I mean, I love what I do and I live and breathe it every single day. So because I get to help beautiful people like you. So it's a real pleasure for me. You can hear uh, you can hear you. I mean, Maz, thank you. You can hear me. Oh my goodness. Trying hard to 
finance a move from Melbourne to the Gold Coast. Well, you're going to be moving to a beautiful space. Um, that's my aim for 2020. Excellent. So what are you doing? What are you putting in place to create that, Maz? How are you? Yep. Yeah, okay. So you're looking to finance. Um, what is it that you're looking to finance? What are the things that are stopping you from being able to do that without looking at that option. So let's have a look at everything here and work out what information we can share with you to help you along. Um, okay. All right, Carolyn, thank you. Sorry, I was just looking for your comment and I could not see it. Um, it's a networking business with skincare. Okay, just can't seem to resonate with it. All right. Um, and do you have any sort of a downline um, that you've got working for you as well? Because there might be some options there for you. My peppermint tea today, just so you know. <laughs> um yeah, it's really interesting that, you know, I understand that if there's a product that you're involved with that you're not, that doesn't resonate with you, then you don't tend to sell it as well as you would if it was a product that you're really passionate about. Of course, that does make a difference, but there's ways around that. So, so um, let me know a bit more about what's going on with a downline or whether or not, um, you know, just just a bit more information on that because I do have some options for you and I know they will work for you. So we don't always have to understand or like something that we do. I'm just, here we go. All right, so. Annette, welcome. Welcome, thank you for joining us. Um, I'm trying to sell my home and so you can move on. Okay. Um, where are you from, Caroline? Where do you live? Where's your home? Just make sure this is turned down as well, yes. Yes, you do, but you feel like it's not. Okay. That's absolutely fine. Um, tell me, is there a product that you are passionate about? A product that you would be happy to promote um, but maybe not uh, maybe in a different line or a different area. Actually, I wouldn't mind knowing the skincare um, product that you're selling at the moment. So, hi, Angela, welcome. Thanks for joining us. You haven't been here for a while now. I haven't seen your name for a while, actually, quite some time. So thanks for coming back. And I really am very grateful that you've taken time out to join us today. So we're just talking about, you know, there's a lot to plan around 2020. And if we st don't start looking at all our options now, then 2020 is here and we're, we're done sort of thing. So any planning really has to start being created at the beginning of November. And I know I've brought this up along the last uh, four shows that I've done, but it is really important. So um, my order, my older kids want me to go on a holiday next February. Uh, find it hard with finances though to make it happen. Mm. That's, that's an old money story, Donna. There's um, situations around money that maybe you're holding on to. I don't know what it was like when you were growing up, but if you had, um, you know, if, if you had um, language around money that wasn't positive, things like money's hard to come by, and this is exactly what you've said, find it hard with finances. Um, you've got to work hard for your money. Um, you know, money doesn't grow on trees, I'm not made of money, all of these things, if that has been the language around you growing up, then you're holding on to an old money story that perhaps needs to be released. Because to be honest with you, anybody 
can make as much money as the next person. Money is only energy. It's not it's not something that has to be created. Money's energy, it's there. It's allowing it to flow into your life um, in multi, you know, through uh, on a continuous basis, through everyday daily activity. Um, I'm stumbling on my words today. I have no idea. I know I didn't sleep very well last night, but that's okay. Um, so there might be some, some things around that. Gabby, welcome. Thank you for joining us. You need to awaken your power to heal yourself and believe that I can. Wow. That Well, that's powerful in itself. Gabby, you and I need to have a chat, a breakthrough session, absolutely free um that's what i do and i would love to have a conversation with you around that because if you believe it's there then it, then you're not far away let's have a chat there will be a link that i will put up at the end of this where you can go through and book an appointment where we can sit down and look at this and really give you some options on what's stopping you because we can go a little bit deeper and it's a lot easier one-on-one -on -one to do this when I haven't got interfering energies coming through and so for me it's really important that you do share the um, information one-on-one -on -one and let's break through that you know let's break through that now we don't want this to carry through into 2020 so absolutely let's do it Carolyn my true desire is to become a counsellor hmm. The products are amazing. I'll send you some info. Yeah, I, I do already do one line of uh, skincare. That's why I was interested to know what line you're on. But Carolyn, put it this way. You don't have to love a product to have an income from it. So I'll say that again. You don't have to love a product to earn an income from it. That can just tick over in the background and, you know, you just connect with your people on a regular basis. You know, you don't even have to tell them you're stepping down or you're not doing it like you were um, because once you let go of it doesn't resonate with me anymore, then you are putting a block there to actually make the sales because there's nothing wrong with making income from something that doesn't necessarily um, bring you the joy and happiness that you want. There's many business owners who have absolutely no idea on um, all businesses and yet they'll buy a business because they're business people. They'll increase the um, the turnover, their in annual turnover and then they'll sell it but they don't have to love that business does that make sense so this is what you could do with this doesn't mean you have to get rid of it or move out of that area but absolutely um you know if you love the product but the style of work doesn't work for you then just allow it to be a, um, a residual form of income there is absolutely no harm in that. And if you want to become a counsellor, then the work that you're doing with a downline would be encouraging them to continue on a form of guidance or counselling to get them to continue to build on their line so that your income does continue to generate. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't feel like you know, it doesn't resonate with me. That's absolutely fine. It's a residual form of income. That's how you can look at that now. Um, what have we got here? Exactly, a money thing. Yeah, okay. Donna, you need to book a call with me as well so we can move through that. So, you know, I can give you some amazing information to work through that one-on-one uh, -on -one once I know more about your particular story. Thank you for sharing and giving the hearts out there, everyone. I really appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, money stories are such a huge fear, I would say, because 
it's what we're used to. It's how we live our life. It's what we do to, um, in, you know, make sure things really do continue on in a, a format that we're comfortable with. But when you can break through that rubbish of old stories that don't serve you and it's not even your story, this is a story that was given to you in your time as a young child growing up. So you don't even own the story, but you've taken it on because it was instilled in you. So let's move through that. Yes, money is necessary, but it's doing what you have a passion for because there is no price on that. Yeah, look, I totally agree. And like I said, you know, you create this um, skincare as a form of residual income. You don't have to hard sell it because your line will grow automatically. If you continue to just nurture a little bit, your downline, particularly your rock stars that are doing really well at it, continue on with them, encourage them to build, your residual income will go up and that will allow you to study and do what you absolutely love to do. Angela, the link didn't work for me last time. Okay, so Angela, I really do apologise. I'm sorry it didn't work last time. I know the links don't work until it actually, uh, till the live has finished. What you can do is go over to my Unique Vibrations page and go into Book Now. There you can book your 30-minute discovery call. So please do that if you still have a trouble with this at the end of the show once I put it up and we're done. The link should absolutely work. So, um, Gabby, thank you. You're very welcome, my dear. Very, very welcome. Please come over and do this call because I know that you've got such a powerful energy that nothing can stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. That's powerful in itself. Let's get that stuff gone and create a whole new um, story for you. It's given me so much confidence. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Carolyn. Yeah, it would have because it gives you the ability to be able to talk to people and let's face it, when you're doing counselling, that's what life's about. You are actually ongoing talking to people, giving them guidance, helping them through situations you know, not a lot different to what I do on a weekly basis. So just bear that in mind that, you know, if it's given you the confidence, there was a reason that you connected with that product and the reason that you did what you did because, you know, it, it gave you another set of skills that you can bring into the counselling field. Um, <clears throat> so I agree and I've met the most amazing... Oh, Lifetime friends, you know, it is incredible. They really, really can um, give you so much more than just what you do. And that's the beauty of network marketing. Okay, so anybody else got anything? Now, I know we've got quite a few people on here, so please let me know who you are and what you want and where you're headed for 2020. So you're welcome, Caroline. My pleasure. That's what I'm here for. You know, this is this is all part of it. If you want to reach out further to that, then please let me know. Um, again, you can book that call as well. Okay. So who else is on? Talk to me, people. You know, less than four weeks for Christmas. What's everybody doing for Christmas? Are you going away for Christmas? Are you spending it with family and friends? What's happening in your world for Christmas? I am just um, having a very quiet Christmas this year. It's uh, just my husband and myself. We have a lot of family that live overseas and out of state. So it's really, we can't meet everybody's expectations for Christmas anyway. So we do often just spend it on our own and get to family at different times of the year. So, you know, we we like to be fair with everyone. We have great eight grandchildren, eight grandchildren 
as well that we have to service. So, you know, there's a lot going on and we just really do look at how we can best do that. So Christmas is our time to sit down and relax. We both, we both um, do a lot of work during the year and so it's really important for us to, you know, take some downtime and spend it with each other because my hours are all over the place when I work, at, you know, doing this business. So it does not give us a lot of time together anyway. So it's really important that we really do spend some special time together over Christmas, which I love doing. Just downtime, you know, preparing for the new year, allowing things to flow, clearing um, all the old energy from the previous year and really starting to build on what I, you know, not start to build because I start visioning my 2020 or my new year at the beginning of November. So, um, hi Kerry, welcome. You've just listed your business for sale to allow you to have more freedom for yourself and your family. Okay, well Kerry, tell me, do you think that it will sell quickly? Um, you know, the, the information, if you've got it set at a good price, if you really want to sell this business and you haven't got any blocks that are limiting the sale of that, you know, if you're really 150% sure that you really don't want that business anymore, but if you've got any energy that's going out, vibrating on a frequency where there's a little bit of a hiccup and you may not even know that but what's in your conscious mind and what's in your subconscious mind are two different things sometimes and if there's anything there then you really need to look at that and um and look at how that can happen so you're hopeful which tells me straight away that there's something there that you're not a hundred percent sure about so what is that what how long have you been in business is it successful what sort of business is it and you know who's the person the seller that you want to come in there's some work you can do around that so i want you to um look at writing up a list of um, all the positive things that you want for the for the business sale so the price that you want the um, type of buyer that you want because when you're selling a business are they going to connect with your clients your current clients and is it going to be a smooth easy transition uh, so the type of person what are the qualities in the person that you want because you're going to have a handover period you're going to have to work with them for a period of time so write down exactly every quality in that person that you want to attract as your perfect buyer. Um, so the price, 